Shalom from Israel, shalom from my tabernacle, the sukkah on my balcony. Yes, that's the way we celebrate it. We have sukkah all over in Israel and also in my balcony. And we've been talking about prophetic message of Sukkot and what does it mean for last days. We've been speaking about Jesus, how he does celebrated Sukkot and all the teachings of God. And you can see about that in four a previous video. And today I want to share with you about traditions, what we do in Sukkah and what we're talking about, what we're praying about, what are the traditions. As we've been speaking about harvest, it's a time of harvest. You can see here different elements that represents harvest and harvest of wine. Now people are busy working on wine and olive trees. We have here different symbols, pomegranate that represents abundance. Bible teaches us about blessings of God to celebrate harvest, to celebrate blessings. And here we have hundreds of seeds and that's the ability of God to bless us and also commandments. It reminds us God's commandments. So there's beautiful traditions uh, around Sukkot. For example, yesterday all over Israel on the news were broadcasts from the synagogues when all the religious people would dance and rejoice all night long. Why? Because it's a feast of joy and God teaches us rejoice. There is a few more beautiful traditions uh, about Sukkot and one of them, it's a tradition that every Sukkah, when it's done properly and dedicated to God, tradition says that some people of the Bible come down and visit every Sukkah in Israel and one of them Elijah. And I love Elijah part because that's the Messiah. Elijah, you know, he is come in spirit of Messiah. Praise God. So there is beautiful celebration all over Israel. People sitting in Sukkah, eating, praying. And in this feast, family is in the center. Speaking about Sukkot, teachings of Sukkot, releasing blessings over our lives because we celebrate God's provision, God's goodness, His blessings, the family time. And in Israel, during the Sukkot, one of the commandments, you have to put aside all the problems, all the battles, all the difficulties, and you shall only rejoice. And let me read final verse from the Bible for you, because I believe it releases spirit of joy over your life. Deuteronomy 16 verse 15 says, God will bless you in all your produce and in all the work of your hands that you surely rejoice. God will bless you and it says, Ach Ismach, you will surely rejoice. Rejoice and I pray for a spirit of joy, celebrate his blessings in joy of the Holy Spirit. And remember, this feast prophetically teaches us about kingdom of God that coming on this earth when we're going to just rejoice and serve him. Shalom.